Craig Allingham, welcome to the Everyday Shoulder. And if I could just frame up a little bit what's going to happen around us today before we start. Um, we have Paul Wright here uh, from uh, Physio Professor, uh, who's doing some videoing today. Not so much of you guys, but of me, um, because we're going to put some, some teasers, some information about this course on his Physio Education Portal to promote what we do and uh, also a chance for you guys to go back and refresh what actually happened here at the day of filming. So that'll be a resource for you as well. So he has promised to be as inconspicuous as possible and that'll be fine. He'll be dipping in and out through the morning filming and then somebody else will take over for some of the afternoon sessions. We're not filming the whole day because that's ridiculous. Who would watch a whole day of video? Uh, but just some snippets that are kind of sort of how useful would it have been for you to be able to just tap in and say, I wonder what that everyday show is about. I want to see what the presenter's like, I want to hear a little bit of how it works and see what the format is so I can make a purchasing decision. So that's what we're trying to provide to it hold that retraction of the scapula. It doesn't have to be your leg. Um, and the bench obviously needs to be the right height for it to use your leg. Let the elbow flop. We can do another one. Okay. And out we go. Now, as well as the stretch, other things are happening. My fingers, pads are on the trigger points of everything from levator scap, if I want to go up that far to, uh, to the superior angle, through the, all the rhomboids, around into serratus anterior on the ventral surface, and certainly down into lower, middle and lower traps. Lots of trigger points there, and you'll know they're trigger points because they'll be tender, and they'll be ropey. You can also, in Sarah's case, and if you can't see this, you might want to come up, I can get my thumb around the lateral border as well, into Terry's major. Oh, he likes that. And, then, and even if we get underneath enough into some scap, which you won't like, but not with it. So I've now got what's called a trigger point pressure release, where I'm applying pressure to the trigger points as we stretch those structures. So it's a complete soft tissue mobilization, fascial settling downing, um, scapular unbinding stretch. If they can't get their hand behind their back, you can usually do it with hand beside, but it's just a little bit harder to dig in. They're not all as easy as Sarah. Some of them you really have to work to get a finger grip enough to pull on their scap in. <coughs> the mistake that's most commonly made is you try and drag skin from the other side to get a finger hold. Can't do it. It's all tethered beyond the midline. Put your hand on the scapula and post the skin around the corner. Mm. That's where the slack is on the scapula, post it around the corner, under the medial border, and then we're away. Now, what do we do after a couple of those stretches? Being ever so good conscientious physios? Reassess. Exactly! We reassess, says Sabrina. It's not the same thing as we do after everything else. Just because it's not a joint mobilisation, it doesn't matter. It's, we reassess, and we find out... Hope you get, Sarah. Hope you get. Mm. Face me. <laughs> Uh, and we look at her range, up we go, and does the scapula now travel to its full range? Yes, it does, it's a miracle, and down again, and then we might look at her scapular mobility on the posterior capsular length to has her impingement now. It's all right, it's tight there. Okay, but do we get 60 degrees? Yes, we do, so we're happy with that, we're ready to move on. We reassess. It might be a paper arc, it might be hand behind the back, push off the <coughs> subscap, whatever the asterisk side was, that's what you're going to revisit for your reassessment. 